Conquering the Third Conditional, Mastering Hypothetical Past. Hello language learners. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of third conditional in English. This grammatical structure helps us talk about situations in the past that didn't actually happen. Sounds intriguing, right? Let's jump in and learn more about its definition and usage. The third conditional is a structure used in English to express unreal or hypothetical situations in the past. This means we use it to imagine a different past by expressing events that didn't happen and the possible outcomes of these unreal situations. It's all about reimagining the past. The structure of the third conditional is pretty straightforward. If plus past perfect verb plus would have plus past participle verb. An example would be, if I had studied harder, I would have passed the exam. In this sentence, the speaker did not study hard and therefore did not pass the exam. Now, let's focus on when to use the third conditional. As we've mentioned, this conditional is perfect for talking about unreal or hypothetical situations in the past. It's often used to express regrets, criticism, or just for imagining what could have happened if circumstances were different. Here are a few examples. 1. Regrets. If I had saved more money, I would have bought that house. In reality, the speaker didn't save enough money and couldn't buy the house. 2. Criticism. If you had listened to me, you would not have lost your wallet. The speaker is implying that because the person didn't listen, they lost their wallet. 3. Imagining different outcomes. If she had taken the train, she would have arrived on time. The speaker is imagining a different scenario where she took the train and arrived on time. The third conditional is all about the past, so it's crucial to remember that we're talking about things that didn't actually happen. It's a hypothetical past. Also, keep in mind that while the structure is often used as we've shown you, it can be flexible. The if clause can go first, or it can go after the main clause. Both are correct. E.g., I would have passed the exam if I had studied harder. We can replace would have with could have or might have to express different degrees of certainty and possibility. And there you have it, the definition and usage of the third conditional in English. Remember, it's all about creating a different past in our minds and expressing it. Keep practicing this structure and you'll soon master the art of talking about hypothetical past situations. Thanks for watching and keep exploring English with us.